Hey, good morning everybody, it's Mike, and thanks for jumping on with me this morning as we do a little checkup this week on where we're at in our real estate business. And I've prepared a little 10-point checklist for you, and I want you on each point to give yourself a rating, one to 10, okay? If you missed us yesterday, we talked about, uh, do you have a narrowly defined, specific target audience? Could you, is it narrowly defined enough where you could enter, and hopefully you have, enter everybody into a CRM or database, line by line, person by person? If your target audience is too broad, like first time home buyers or luxury, uh, say you can't enter, enter the luxury into your CRM. Well, I can't, but I know that's what I wanna focus on. You're focusing on people, not a term. Okay, now the people might be in the luxury market, but they're not luxury, they're people. So do you have a specific, narrowly defined target audience? Rate yourself one to 10 on how effective that is. Number two was, do you have a written, a written four to six step strategy? Action steps that you take every day to establish yourself as the top of mind, credible expert with that target audience, do you? Rate yourself one to 10 on that. Number three, do you, we discussed yesterday, right? Do you have a written, do you have a written weekly schedule that accounts for all waking hours and you treat all activities, both in your personal life and in your business as appointments? How much and by when? Well, I'm gonna make one video today. That's awesome. What time today are you gonna make that video? What gets measured gets done, right? Okay, so for today, number four on our 10 point checklist. Do you have, do you have a 12 month calendar of events and personal time off? Have you already sat down with a calendar for 2022 and decided in your business what events and activities you want to participate in or host for your business? Have you already started to build your time off calendar for the next year? Well, I don't do it that way, Mike. We just kind of take time off as things come up during the year. I don't want to be that structured and I can't plan next summer today. Yeah, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have a problem. You're going to run into all kinds of conflict during the year and all highly successful real estate agents have an annual calendar. They're planning that stuff. I'm already planning 2022. What time off am I going to take and when? What's reasonable? And I always want to take more time off than what I can afford. So I need to plan that off and decide what stays in and what I have to push off to another time. The events that I want to conduct with my target audience, they need to be planned out well in advance too. Those of you that decided at the last second you wanted to do some kind of Halloween event last week, yeah, lots of stress and extra cost and lack of effectiveness that goes into that last minute ideas. Now rate yourself, scale of one to 10, how are you doing on that annual calendar and planning those things out? What kind of rating would you give yourself? One is horrible, 10 is king of the world. Number five, oh, here's the big one. You're gonna hate me for this one. I know you are, so just start hating right now. Do you have a CRM? Oh, I got a better question, because most of you do. Most of you have more than one. I know I'm with a big company and we give our agents two. Why do we give them two? I don't know. One, the first one probably seemed like a really good idea and the second one seemed like a better idea. So now you have two. And guess what we have coming in January? We have a third one coming. Uh-huh. And they're free. Uh, well, my, our agents here, I'll have three CRMs for free. I guess the better question is, are you using it? Are you using it? Do, is everybody you know on the planet Everybody in your sphere of influence, all your past acquaintances, all your family and friends, your target audience, your prospects that you're hopefully nurturing, right? Are all these people in your CRM with appropriate campaigns and schedules set up for them? Are they? 
How would you rate yourself one to 10 on that? Number six, social media platforms. This is, you're gonna like this one. Well, kind of, you're gonna like it. Social media platforms. Okay, so there's the big three. Now look, I get that there's a lot more than the big three. The big three being Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I get that Twitter's out there, but it lacks the application, the daily application that the big three have. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Now, if you're a Twitter person or you're on TikTok, I think that's all, that's fine, that's cool, I get it. But you gotta be on the big three. Those are basics, they're staples, okay? That's called meeting your customers where they're at, not expecting them to come to you. Are you set up on all three big social media platforms? Are you connected to all these people that hopefully are already in your CRM, right? Just lie to me, tell me they are. All these people that you think should hire you when the time comes to buy or sell a home. You think they should because they know you and you're so cute and charming, right? Are you connected to them? Are they in your CRM? Are you connected to everybody in your CRM on all three major platforms? And then the last part of that is, are you posting relevant content every day? Or are you this person? You're just, you're just a poser. You're just posing your best life. You think anybody believes that stuff? Your outrageous trips? Your videos in your car where you're pontificating on world views? Oh my God, would you give the rest of us a break? Or what's let worse, where you rank in your office, the award you got. Hey, nobody but your mommy cares about that stuff. I don't care where you rank in your office if I don't know you. I don't know you. Quit posting that kind of braggadocious crap at us all the time. You're boring us to death and I don't need to hear your world views on any subject or your opinion. You're just a real estate agent. I don't need to know your politics. I don't need to know your views on COVID. By the way, do you think you're changing anybody's mind about anything? What's going on here? Our egos are running the show. Cut it out, your ego makes you boring. So, how would you... <laughs> Sorry, went off on a little tangent there, didn't I? Hey, how would you rate yourself on social media? Are you connected to everybody in your CRM? Are you posting daily? Are you posting relevant, interesting content every day? I get that's hard, but are you looking for it? Are you sharing it? What kind of rating, one to 10, would you give yourself on that? We're gonna finish this week on the final four, but those are the big six right there. Let's just do them in reverse. Number six was social media. How do you rate yourself? Number five was your CRM. How do you rate yourself in effectiveness with that? Number 12 was planning out your year, your time off, and the events that you want to host. How are you doing with that? Number three was written weekly schedule. How are you with that? What kind of rating do you give yourself? Number two was a written four to six strat step strategy that you implement with number one, which is your established specific target audience. So far we've done six, add them up, your rating that you gave yourself, divide it by six. Do you like what you came up with? Do you like what you came up with? Are you in the upper half? Are you averaging eight to 10? Or are you in the bottom half? Are you averaging two to four? I think most of us are gonna end up in that four to six range, which means this, you're not convicted, there's just a lot of room for improvement and you can then start the improvement today by going out there and making it happen for yourself.